Hello everybody and welcome to this Flutter video tutorial. In this video, we will talk about our chat series third episode. In this episode, we are going to talk about how to add Firebase dependencies, how we can register a user to our app. So we are going to talk about the registration, uh, how a user sign up and save uh, their data into Firebase. Fire Store, and uh, we will talk about the login, how we can check the emails and password. If they are in our database, we will sign into our chat app. As you see on the screen, I brought some changes to our previous app. I add a Flutter logo at the top of our screen, as you can see. So guys, this is your assignment to add a logo at the top of your app in here. So you can pause the video and do this yourself. So let's start with our main dot dot. Before I'm going to start the coding. So if you are new in this channel, please subscribe our channel for not losing other videos. So as you can see in the main dot dot, I brought a little changes. What I did when we are using the Firebase, so we have to initialize our Firebase. In the main function, I put this two line of code in here. As you can see, the first line, widget flutter building dot ensure initialize and the Firebase dot initialize. And also we use the async and await for this. So let's see our pubspec.yaml file for adding the dependencies to work with our Firebase file restore and the email authentication as you can see inside the dependency i add firebase core firebase auth and cloud file restore and where we can find this dependency let's go and find that as you can see on the screen you can go to the firebase.flutter.dev and you can find the plugins as you can see here, we need the authentication for our email address and the cloud file store for our messaging and also the core which is necessary for them. You can click here and this page will open. As you can see, you can click on this icon to copy this Firebase auth package. Another way, as you know, you can go to install and in uh, from here from the dependency you can copy this and go again inside your dependency and paste it next one is the file store the same you can click here and the page will open you can copy this and paste it inside the dependencies the last one is the core you can click here and the page will open and you can copy this to your dependencies as you can see i copied three of them in the pubspec.yaml after you paste them you can click to the pub get to download or install all the dependencies so after installing all the dependencies if you have no any issue you can go to continue with your coding as you can see exit with zero it means there is no any issue next we are going to open our firebase console which we created before inside this page you can click to the authentication so click on the sign in method which kind of sign in do you want to use as you can see we have a lots of sign in method that we can use it so for now we are going to use the email and password it is disabled so click here and enable it when you enable click to save and this will be enabled and now you can register your user inside the user so let's go back to the android studio so let's start with our sign up page as you can see we have the email and the password and a register button so before going to start your assignment was this logo how we can create this you can create this inside the children of the column which they are into you can put the flutter logo and give it a size and also you can separate them with a size box so guys let's start with our registration part when a user register to our chat app so first of all when we are dealing with a firebase authentication so we can create the instance of our firebase auth here 
final and give it a name is equal to Firebase Auth dot instance and also remember to import the package of Firebase Auth. So as you remember these all codes, we have this register button. So let's go inside our register button. On click of this button, there is no code. When we click to this register, this email address and password should be registered. So on pressed of this register button what we are going to do in this line as you can see we create a final new user and we use the auth which we created above here when we are writing auth dot what we use we can create user with email and password so the what parameters it takes it takes an email and a password we give it the email as our email which we created before here from our text field and the password also from our password text field. So after that we have to check if this new user is not equal to null. If it is not equal to null then we have to navigate somewhere. We can navigate either to login page or any other page. So what is the async? As you know before, when we are dealing with data, we need to wait for the data from the internet. So we are using async and await for that. And also when we dealing with data from internet, we have to put a try catch if there will be any error and print the exception. So guys, this code should create our user. So let's go to our app and enter our email address. I'm going to enter ali at gmail.com and I'm going to give it a password of 123456. When I click to register, so it will come to the sign in page. So let's go inside our Firebase and refresh it. Now you can see that ali at gmail is registered as a user so now as many user we want we can register from our app and so let's go back to our android studio now we created the registration process the assignment for you is to create the sign in for our chat app to the sign in page so you can pause the video and do it yourself so let's go inside our sign in page inside the sign in page we also going to create the instance of our firebase auth as you can see here and now we are going to inside this button when we click this button as you can see we did the same code here except there is a difference you can see here we just write the auth and dot we use the sign in with email and password and we give it the email and password from our text fields and we check if the user is not null it means we have the user inside the firebase so now we can navigate to our chat page for now we didn't create that so let's go and create our chat page and sign into our chat app as you can see on the screen you can right click on the pages and you can create a file chat page dot dot inside the chat page create a stateful widget class and name it chat page and also give this line because when we are going to use this chat app for navigation we use the id of this chat page so what is inside the build method of our chat page it return a scaffold inside the scaffold we have the app bar as we know before that we can give it a trailing and a leading and also an action if you want to know more about the app bar you can visit our videos on app bar suggestion at the top here inside the action as you can see there is an icon button icon button icon icons dot log out as you can see on the app also there is an icon inside the app bar and also there is a title chat page you as you can see here and there is a background color the color is indigo so what is inside the body 
there is a self area and a column widget. As we know, a column widget can have the main axis alignment. We can give it main axis alignment dot space between. And also, if you want to know more about the column, you can visit our videos about the column and row as you can see the suggestion here and also the cross axis alignment dot stretch inside the column we have children inside the children we use a container which we decorate this container as you can see i use the constant and let's see how i decorate it inside our constant file so as you can see here is the const I created before message container decoration box decoration what it has it has a border what kind of border border top border side color color is light blue as you can see at the top of this which is light blue and the width of 2.0 and also we have another const which is for this send button there is an style for this button which is text style the color is indigo as you can see and the font weight font weight dot bold and we have a, a font size of 18 so let's go back inside our chat app and continue here as you can see we use the decoration for this container and inside this container we have a child row so inside the row as you can see we have a cross axis alignment dot center inside the child of the row we have one expanded widget which its child is a text field so this text field has a controller property which we give it message text controller where is this text message controller if you come at the top now you can see here is the final message text controller is equal to text editing controller as you can see here and also on change we have value which we put it inside the text message again where is the text message at the top as you can see there is string message text and this text field also has decoration which we use the const and message text field decoration inside our const again so here is the decoration for text field so we have an input decoration content padding edge inset of symmetric when we use vertical and horizontal we use symmetric it has the vertical of 10 and the horizontal of 20 and also it has a text hint of type your message here as you can see on the screen and also we have a border input of none next we have a button which is text button this button has only on pressed and a text which is send and the style for this text we use the send button text style so now as you can see our chat page is ready to use so let's go back inside our sign in page on click of this sign in button we are going to navigate to our chat page before using this chat page we have to do one thing more in our main dot dot so we have to register our chat page into our route map which we created before so don't forget this one and go back to the sign in and let's try our sign in method if we can sign in to our chat page so guys uh, on the screen we registered this email address as you can see here and also the password the email is ali at gmail.com and the password is one two three four five six so now let's click on sign in button as you can see we successfully navigate to our chat page if you want to sign out so you can click on this button so for now there is no code for this button let's go inside our chat page and let's go inside our icon button and we can use our 
underscore auth dot you can use the simple sign out method here and put a semicolon at the end and you are done and after that simply use navigator dot pop and give it the context it will pop this page and navigate to the previous page let's save it and now let's test it as you can see it just closed that page and sign out and it come to the previous page which is the login page so guys this is it for this video and i hope you learned something from this video about the email authentication and login authentication to the firebase firestore so we will continue our chat app in the next video so guys if you have any question you can write it below at the comment section and if you like it you can thumbs up and see you guys on the next video